guys, this is Justin Church, and I am here today to make another video. Today's video, before I get started, I'm going to say sorry for the camera quality. I'm using my brother's phone. My phone's acting weird, so I can't film on there. But enough about that. Today is, I'm making a late two-year anniversary special. I've been on YouTube for two years as of Wednesday. And I wasn't home Wednesday to make a video, so I am making one today instead. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a sealed to reveal on an old album from the 90s. Kiss MTV Unplugged. Original, still sealed. This is not the yellow vinyl version. I thought it was. But doing some research yesterday, I found out that this is just a standard black vinyl version. It's kind of, it's pretty common actually. They're all over the place online for a decent price, like 30, 40, 50 bucks. So, I am going to do... A sealed to reveal I've had this for about a little over a year now this was my father's he bought it back in the day and never opened it I'm gonna open it now and I'm gonna see what hopefully the record is not warped I've seen some sad videos on YouTube of people getting what warped records op open warped records like there's a kiss there's a video of the kiss on mass Canadian pressing unsealed Warp beyond playing, and I'm hoping this doesn't happen. That's not a problem with me. All right, so I'm going to get the knife and I'm going to quickly slice this open. Here we go. Gotta be careful, I don't want to cut anything in here. Hold on. Let's take it like a man and split the seal. Can't believe I'm actually doing this. I'm actually excited to open this. All right, we got the seal off and let's see what's inside. All right, first I'm gonna show you, wait, why is it not coming off? Hold on, I might have to split some more of the shrink. This might take a minute. I'm also trying to do this without cutting the poster. The first time taken out of the packaging since 1996. I don't have this otherwise. Here is the poster that is included. Here, I'm never about to see this in person. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice poster. I'm not hanging it up, by the way. I'm going to leave it in here. And yes, I am leaving the shrink wrap on the record. Check out the vinyls. Yep, just black. Beautiful. No scratches. Seems to be fine. Actually, I don't think it really is warped. Well, maybe. I don't know. Well, I'll be giving this a test play in a couple minutes. So, here's the first record. And track on side one is Coming Home, Placer Caster, Going Blind, Do You Love Me? Side two, Domino, Sure Know Something, A World Without Heroes, and Rock Bottom. So that's record A, the first one. And here, here's the label too. I forgot to show you all the label. See, it's kind of hard to see because the quality isn't that great. But this is beautiful. This is like no scratches, no fingerprints. Really nice. You no, know, honestly, I thought this was the yellow vinyl, the really rare $500 vinyl version. I meant vinyl. Yellow version. So I had been leaving it sealed, thinking it was that version. But when I found out that it wasn't, I said, I'm going to open it. Here's, here's the second record. And the tracks on this one is... Side one was See You Tonight, I Still Love You, Every Time I Look at You, 2000 Man. And side two is Beth, Nothing to Lose, Rock and Roll Night, and Got to Choose, which is not on the CD. And I've heard the Got to Choose, eh, it's whatever. I'm not a huge fan of it. I have it on the box set and a CD that came out in 2006 called 20th Century Masters, the Millennium Collection, Volume 3. And I'm not a huge fan. And I do have this on CD. I've had this on CD since I think I was about eight years old. 
So the records seem good. Hold on. That's the first time that stuff has been touched since factory, since it was in the factory in 1996. But yet, see, it's still got the hype sticker. And the hype sticker says, The Kiss Reunion, Ace Freely, Peter Chris, Gene Simmons, and Paul Stanley. Double vinyl includes extra track, includes the poster of the making of on MTV Unplugged. And yes, this was the black vinyl version. Hold on, I, I want the poster up in the front. But yes, I am keeping the shrink wrap around the cover. And I'm going to be honest too, before I finish this video, I have an Elvis album from the 70s, Blue Hawaii, it's just a reprint. It's still sealed. I'm thinking about opening that too, because that one is only worth like 10 bucks. But, yep, yeah, honestly, I'm happy. I I'm glad I opened this. Now, I'm going to give it a spin on the turntable, and at some point, I'll give you guys an update and see... And I'll let you know how it played. If it was warped, it doesn't see. I don't know where I can't. I can't tell how warped vinyls are, but I'm kind of scared. And yes, I took some of the pieces of the plastic off, but I'm hoping for the best. I don't. This hasn't been stored the greatest, so I'm taking a risk here. But let's hope and pray for the best. But yes, I'll give you guys an update at some point about how this played. All right. So if you like the content you see, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right. Thanks. Bye.